All right, I'm a real estate agent, so I'm going to talk about keys to success in real estate. But honestly speaking, this is kind of general. Um, these are things I use in uh, my everyday life in other aspects that are not related to real estate, right? Um, one thing I found out is just consistency, right? Consistency. If you look at a lot of um, people over time, those that are considered the greatest in their field are not those that had the highest peak, um, but more so those those that had a longer stay at the top. Um, don't want to get into a LeBron and Michael Jordan debate, but the LeBron and Michael Jordan is the only example I can think of where Jordan is considered the greatest, even though LeBron has stayed on the top for longer. If you consider like a Randy Moss and um, Jerry Rice, for instance, Jerry Rice is considered the greatest because he stayed consistent longer. But nobody is going to argue that in a one game situation, you know who's the better person Randy Moss is definitely better right had a higher peak but he couldn't maintain it longer that's just a sports example when you think about um, let me see other examples there's so many other examples uh, that I don't want to get into but people that are considered the greatest in their fields just tend to do it longer consistency is better you know also you get to appreciate the grind you as the individual getting things done you when you get to look back and see the journey that you've come from and, and and what you've been able to accomplish you just get to appreciate it more right so in uh business um or sales which is what real estate is really your sales uh um if you're in the sales business you may not think you're in that but that's what you're in um i would say follow-up is, is is very key and consistent follow-up right even if some people do cold calling some people do door knocking different ways to generate leads some people do hand mailing um some people do zillow leads even if you do zillow and truly leads you still got to follow up you know you get the co uh the contact you show the property you don't just let it die you you can consistently follow up and um, you don't want to be that snake oil salesman kind, kind of bothering people you want to be cognizant of feelings and uh, moods and uh, timing you want to consistently touch basis with them so whenever they think real estate you come first or whatever you're into if whatever business you're into whenever they think about that service or that product they think of you that's why all these companies run all these ads you may not want to buy um a car this year but they're still running car ads all the time so when you think of buying a car you think of that person right or that company so being consistent but being very mindful of how to do it it's 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 kind of like an art form you know you give and you take you slowly want to do it you don't want to be overbearing on people that can be a turn off right what consistency does is it builds momentum right it's like an avalanche well, once the snowball starts rolling it's small and it starts picking up and picking up and picking up and it just gets bigger and that's really what the real estate thing is about or most sales businesses when you first get going um i was into another thing that's kind of related to real estate but not quite it was in the real estate field but i wasn't selling properties but it was a sales thing in real estate but mostly to contractors and when i first took over that kind of thing it was slow but just constantly calling and, and, and building relationships, all of a sudden we got to the point where we were overwhelmed with uh, contracts and, and, and clients. Same with real estate, right? I would even just say, don't even get into it if, if you're thinking this is gonna be your only source of income. Don't even get into it then. Uh, have a backup, have something that's gonna sustain you. Come into it with the long run in mind, right? real estate is going to work out for you if you can that's not only real estate they say average business in america the average business in america fails within the first three years that's just business in general because you're coming out with a product nine times out of ten unless you're inventing a brand new thing that hasn't existed somebody is already in that market right but for instance when the Tesla came out, that EV, you kind of had hybrid cars, but a full-blown EV wasn't a thing yet, just mass-produced. So that was like a new product, you know? 
So unless you're doing something brand new, somebody is already in that field, somebody already has a market um, presence and you're trying to take over and take and step into their field. And honestly, it's just not fair. When I think about being in real estate now and just when I came in, just the new me trying to compete with this me right now, it's not even fair because right now, I already built some relationships, not only with buyers, sellers, lenders. There are processes that I have learned from mistakes I have made, and I'm trying to, po I still am po polishing my processes, but it's like I'm building this machine now to where things are just going. Coming in, I just was like trying to learn. So if you're coming in new, and you think about those that have been in it for a while, and, and I'm a one-man wrecking crew, but some people work in teams to where not only do they have experience, but they also have the mastermind. If you know about um, this book, very popular book, I don't, it doesn't come to mind, but it was um, about the gentleman who did a biography of, uh, not a biography, but he wrote the philosophy of how to succeed and he was assigned that task by Andrew Carnegie. The book's name is Think and Grow Rich. I don't remember the author, but he was talking about the mastermind. One of the things Andrew Carnegie, Ford, um, Edison, all these top inventors and um, capitalists of early America talked about, early industrial America, let's not go too far back, talked about was the, the collective mind, getting a group of people to think together and work towards one purpose. That is way more effective than me just being a solo agent. The only reason why I don't do that, as, as of now, my schedule doesn't permit me to be able to have these meetings. I just, my schedule doesn't permit that. So it, it doesn't work for me. So I work things out with my schedule but teams sometimes can be more effective you can make let's say you can make more money solo because you keeping all your commission but teams can sell way more houses and you know it's just a machine you know one person is doing all buyers one person is doing all sellers one person is doing all admin you know so for a single agent like myself you can go hire an admin and take that off your plate but you got to do the buyers and the sellers. You know, a team, on, a team on the other hand, who's doing the buyers can go to the open houses, who's doing the sellers can go to the listing appointments, right? I sell all that to say, building a momentum, right? Going out to these, constantly doing this, having that machine. So we were talking about coming in new, starting a new business, starting a new thing, and it takes time to build processes. Like, I remember when I started sending out hand mails, I would go buy the little envelopes from uh, like the local grocery store, the local Staples or something. Uh, maybe it's 45 in a box. Now I'm buying them at, uh, let's say 500 of them in a really big box, you know. Same thing with the, the, the paper I used to print on. I used to print on, um, I used to, you know, just buy one at a time, now I'm buying a big box of them, right? So it's just, some, and it's cost effective now. I'm spending more, but it's just cost effective. Even the stamps, right? And I, I know there's even a better way of getting electronic stamps. That's what I'm looking into next. I used to initially buy the 12 book of stamps. Now I buy them in like hundreds, right? Um, let's see, I think I have some of them here. Yeah, so these are all like rows of stamps right here. And I don't know how many, this is a hundred stamps. So it's just like a few hundred that come in this and it's a lot cheaper. And it's just like a, you're coming in new into real estate and these are all processes that I had to learn. I'm buying 12 books of stamps, which come on a little sheet of paper. It's not cost effective. And now it's, just, and I even know this is not the most effective way and I'm looking into buying a machine that can stamp them. You can also do postcards, but sometimes that personal touch works. Not only you can print stuff out, but sometimes you handwrite stuff. People just appreciate that, or it catches their eye when it's handwritten. So I'm just saying all this to say, consistency, you only learn all these things and you get better at your craft when you become consistent. You know, if you do it one or 
or two times, you're not going to learn and see what works and what doesn't, right? So you got to keep doing it and learn and say, man, those 12 stamps are a waste of time. Let me buy more so it just works better. Even like with printing, printing, right? At, at, when I used to print out stuff, I would go do it at the office or go to the FedEx office, which is just not cost efficient nor time efficient. I, you know, then I said, let me buy a, a printer. So you got the printer. Now the whole machine is available to where you just, you just move it. Um, so I'm just saying you, you learn by doing and getting better. And also just get up and do it, right? When you procrastinate, nothing gets done. Then five years go by, a year goes by, and you're thinking about getting this thing done, but you could have gotten it done already if you just started. You just gotta get going, you gotta get going. Get going for the first few minutes and just you'll just see. And you gotta develop the resilience to keep going. You know, nothing is easy, right? Nothing is easy in life. Some people are lucky, things fall at their lap. Others gotta grind, right? So just keep just got you gotta get going, right?